Hey guys, Ivan here and we are hours away from the New York Pro Open Division, however, other divisions like 212, Men's Physique, Classic Physique and others are on their way, actually they are happening right now, 212 is over the pre-judging, I'm gonna show you what happened there in a moment, before we get to that, uh, let me show you where you can watch the live stream, it's 25 bucks, so you can pay for it if you wanna watch it. This is the website and I will leave the link down below, so if you wanna watch it, you can go ahead, but I will post a video of it, uh, it's gonna happen in about three hours, and I guess three and a half hours later you're gonna have a video on my channel. Not a full video, of course, you wanna watch the full live stream, you have to go to the website and pay for it. But if you wanna hear my thoughts and a review of the show, you can watch it on my channel, and so subscribe and stay here. Anyways, here you can see Nick Walker right now, hours away from the show, in his hotel room. And this photo basically went viral on Instagram, everybody is sharing it, everybody is super impressed and amazed. And they should be, I am, because this does look pretty freaking impressive, it reminds me of uh, Dorian Yates 1993, but with a little bit bigger stomach, I mean, I don't like the way he's posing right here, because his midsection is taking away so much space, I would love, I would prefer to see a smaller midsection, and just overall a smaller surface, uh, on his stomach, but I guess it is what it is, but the arms, the chest just looks very impressive, the legs are so shredded, so vascular, he's in great shape, he's really conditioned, uh, based on this photo, it does seem like he got a little bit, a little bit watery, maybe he overcarred a little, I think he was drier yesterday, I think so, I'm not sure though, I'm not sure I can, maybe I'm wrong, but it does seem like he has a little tiny film of water, so maybe he overcarbed, but there is still enough time, I'm sure they will make adjustments, and I'm sure he will be great, but even like this, he's amazing, he's amazing, he's gonna be a winner, I can see him winning this show, I mean, it's gonna be close, but I can see him winning this show, yeah, he looks really damn good right now. But we already know what to expect from Justin Rodriguez, we saw him in Indie Pro, and what he received, the criticism that he received from the judges, is that he needs to come sharper and less full, so he's gonna be in, in better conditioning than the last show, than Indie Pro, than last week. And here, him standing next to Nick Walker, I'm, I'm actually surprised, I thought Nick was just much bigger, but actually standing one, one next to another, it doesn't really seem that way, I mean, it's close, and uh, Justin is just really, like, really wide to the shoulders, he really, he's a big guy. So, standing on the stage next to Nick Walker, he's not gonna get dwarfed, no, even though Nick does look like a freak, he's only a freak for his frame. Justin has a huge frame, so he's gonna be, as far as the size, he's gonna be close, but as far as the conditioning, we need to see that in person, but I think it's gonna be a big battle between these two guys. Uh, I don't have Hassan in second anymore, no. After seeing this, this is gonna be probably his final form, I mean... The cuts in the legs, the separations are getting deeper, he is getting drier, he does have a nice look. I mean, this is basically the conditioning that we saw last year at the New York Pro, so he's gonna be in, in decent condition, for sure, yeah, yeah. And with his muscle bellies, like, the, the fullness is just ridiculous. He's gonna do well, I mean, top three, it's a, it's a great result. I don't see him winning the show or being second, because the other two guys are just more conditioned, but I might be wrong, because nobody has this kind of muscle bellies, this kind of uh, density, thickness to the physique, the other guys might have bigger frame, but he packs so much muscle, this guy, Hassan, and the cuts are getting deeper by the hour, so we'll see what's gonna happen. What can we expect from Blessing Awaribu? Well, he does look pretty damn impressive right here, but is he on the level of Nick Walker, Justin Rodriguez, Hassan Mustafa, not even close, I think best case for him is gonna be top 6, but that's gonna be hard to accomplish, because he, he's just not on that level, not yet. Conditioning-wise, size-wise, structure-wise, not yet. Someday, maybe, he does have great potential, but this year, I don't see that happening. He's a little bit too stringy for the other guys. I mean, look at this. <laughs> just look at this. So Nick Walker actually has a personal photographer with him, Walt Whitman. Uh, he's actually with him in his hotel room, and so we have these high-quality professional photos taken. And we can get a pretty damn good idea what he looks like right now, and he is absolutely shredded. I mean, the other photo, the one with, that was taken with a phone, he doesn't look that dry. But now, here, when it's a high-quality photo, you can see that he is actually damn. I mean, he's really dry. He's in a really great condition. He's best conditioning ever, and it's gonna be probably the best conditioning on the stage. So, I do have him as the winner. Whatever you guys think, tell me down below before the show starts. 
And now let me show you what happened in 212. If you're interested in the New York Pro, this is your top four in 212 with the New York Pro. As you can see, they're changing their places. Joe Jewett, I'm sure you know about him. He went kind of viral all, through all the bodybuilding pages because he really brought the best conditioning to the Indy Pro and now to the New York Pro. At the Indy Pro, he was a little bit too flat. Here is the, he's the guy in the middle on the right, bald guy. Uh, so he was a little bit flat at the Indy Pro, and, but he was really conditioned. And here is also, I mean, he's also very conditioned, but he came fuller. I can say that. And so he's in the middle of this callout. He might be the winner. We'll see what's gonna happen. At the Indy Pro, Joe Jewett was third. And the guy on the right, who I find the most impressive looking here, because look at those legs, Jesus. And the back and everything, the glutes are also freaking insane. I'm the guy on the right. His name is Noel Adam, and he was fifth at the Indy Pro last week. The guy on the left actually was ninth at the Indy Pro, and now he cracked the top four. And I think he's gonna be fourth here without a doubt. So he is not beating anybody in this callout right here. But the top three is kind of close. Nathan Appler is the guy in the middle on the left who was second at the Indy Pro. He was able to beat Joe Jewett. Now, let's see what happens here. So, in the middle we have uh, Nathan and Joe. I think Joe is most likely going to be the winner of this show because he's the most conditioned. Take a look at the hamstrings. Nobody has these good hamstrings in this lineup. Guy on the right. Look at the gloats and the lags on this guy and also the density of the back. But he doesn't have the conditioning of the other two guys. Uh, the guy in the middle on the left, he, I mean, he has good conditioning. But he's a little bit too stringy, I mean, he's a little bit too small. He doesn't have the density in the back or the legs. So I actually don't see Nathan Appler in this top three callout. I actually see two guys on the right, Joe Jewett and Noel Adam, actually battling it for that first spot. I mean, yeah, Nathan has the good conditioning, but he's not as big as the guy on the right, uh, Noel. Uh, these guys are new to me, honestly, guys. I knew about uh, Joe Jewett, and I just learned the names of the other guys. But uh, yeah, they look all they all they all look great for sure. I really like the guy on the right because he has so much muscle. Uh, Noel, actually. <laughs> so I'm trying to remember his name, but uh, I'm gonna remember it after making this video for sure. And hopefully you guys will as well. Uh, the legs, the legs on uh, Nathan, they don't look that good. I mean, they don't have deep separation, and they have a little bit too much vascularity going on. So I don't like his legs too much, and overall he's a little bit too small to be the winner or second spot here. So I have him in third, yeah, because of the conditioning. Uh, here, so Joe Bennett, I have him winning the show, uh, most likely. I think it's a pretty safe bet because he was third. Yeah, Nathan beat him the previous week, but now he looks better. I mean, he, he fixed what needed fixing, so he came fuller. With the same conditioning, basically. I mean, with those crazy legs, crazy hamstrings. And overall, insane level of conditioning, like, he is ripped to shreds, he's really freaking lean. And with the structure also, I mean, he has the best structure right here. Uh, he has better structure than Noel on the right, when he does a couple of poses, and you can see it. Yeah, the guy is thicker for sure, bigger, look at the legs here, <laughs> jeez. But uh, it's not all about the mass, it's all about the, it's, it is all about the flow. If your physique flows well, and if it is big enough, conditioned enough, symmetrical enough, and everything, uh, the, the, the the flow does matter quite a bit. This is a good pose for Joe, for sure. I mean, he shows his hamstrings, uh, the glute separation, also the chest looks really good. So, yeah, because of the conditioning, it might be Nathan again, uh, not, not Noel. So the guys in the middle might actually be battling it for the second and the first, uh, because they are the most conditioned here. But me personally, I would go with guy on the right. But based on the way judges are moving them, yeah, yeah. Uh, look at the hamstrings here. Look at the hamstrings and the density of the legs. So I think Joe is going to win the show as far as the second. It could be Nathan. I mean, the guy in the middle. Look at the lower back here. And hamstrings as well. I mean, the, the glutes too. He is ripped. No, he does not have the mass of Noel, the guy on the right. But he does have crazy level of conditioning. So is it going to be conditioning or mass? I mean, you make your pick. I personally would go with mass. But then again, also the flow of the guy, uh, of, of Nathan... Looks pretty good, but look at the legs here. So it's gonna be a tough call, honestly, but based on the way judging works, as far as I know so far, I think the guys in the middle are gonna be the winners, actually top two, uh, and I do have Joe Bennett winning the show. 
and he's doing a vacuum, so he's big of a guy, I mean, yeah, he's 212, but that's only because he's short, he packs a lot of muscle on his frame, and he's still able to do a vacuum, and I listen to him in a Fouad Abiyad's podcast, and I encourage you to do as well, because you can learn a lot from him, he's very smart, uh, he has been practicing vacuums for a while, because he had a distension problem before, uh, he's a great guy, definitely watch that podcast, this is gonna do it as far as 212, stay tuned guys, subscribe for more, uh, in a couple of hours, open bodybuilding is gonna start, I'm gonna make a video for sure, as soon as possible, I'll be fast at the upload, so subscribe once again, uh, the link to the, the, the live stream is in the comment, it is in the description, sorry, down below, uh, again guys, subscribe, like this video if you enjoyed it, and uh, thank you so much for watching, all the best and bye bye.